Restaurants and cafeterias and the food that they serve have an enormous impact on the environment. For example, restaurants and cafeterias use about five times more energy than a typical commercial office building, and restaurants can use about 300,000 gallons of water a year. So this project is a great opportunity to both let them know about these environmental issues and to give them an opportunity to be part of the solution. Uh, at Restaurant Associates, we were dealing with many of the same issues that a lot of the food service industry was dealing with in terms of environmentally friendly options. EDF is one of the few science-based organizations that understood the business realities that we had to deal with. And so we partnered with them to develop a comprehensive set of best practices for green dining that we'll be implementing across our facilities. And our hope is to work with the rest of the food service industry to help them implement them as well. This project focuses on the biggest environmental impacts associated with food production and operation of the facilities where it's served. We've identified 12 key issues from energy efficiency to organic produce to water conservation where we've developed best practices that can be used by every dining manager to improve their environmental performance. Many in the dining industry think that to be sustainable it has to cost more money. We wanted to show that there are many ways that there are cost savings like energy and waste disposal that will offset some of the things that cost more such as some of the food items. Uh, this term is what we call no net cost or net cost neutral. Taken together, this no net cost approach allows companies to implement the widest possible range of environmentally friendly initiatives while protecting their bottom line and better serving their customer. Um, what I loved about this project was that I think that a lot of people think that green is more touchy-feely and there aren't measurements and we were able to really have statistics, measurements, a baseline to prove and show people that it really doesn't cost more to be green. And I think one of the positive things was, besides the new things that we brought in from a food perspective, to show people, especially our clients and guests, what we can do to save energy and to save waste, which is really a positive. I was shocked at how interested people were and how much they really appreciated what we were doing here. I, I would bring in products that were brand new, maybe they've never seen them before, and the fact that I would sell out you know, so fast and just how happy people were and just literally just demands to bring it back you know, as soon as possible. We challenge everyone from individual restaurant owners to corporate food service giants to adopt these guidelines and to work with their farmers and their suppliers to help them improve their practices. We'd like to see this set of recommendations evolve over time and we've established a special place on the EDF Innovations Exchange website for managers to share information, challenge each other to go further, and to capture information about new green dining practices as they evolve.